Good evening, beautiful people. We're hours away from Texas's Sweet 16 game against Xavier, so we might as well go out to the man on the scene, Jeff Jones. But, golly, this guy looks beautiful all the time. How am I supposed to compete with this dude, man? Let me get back on track. Let me get back on track. Bro, I heard that you were chilling with some animals before the game tonight. What, what's that all about? Wait a second, Corey. My, my earpiece went out. You said I look what? Beautiful is what he said. I just had to hear it again in my head. Corey, always nice to chat with you, man. I want to catch you up on what we did today. And as you know, whenever I'm out of town covering an event, I like to explore a new city. That's what we did this morning by checking out one of Kansas City's top tourist attractions. But even while we were there, well, we couldn't stop thinking about the UT men's basketball team. Welcome to Kansas City. We're here for the Longhorns trip to the Sweet 16. And before the game tips off, we figured, why not enjoy one of America's best zoos? From monkeys to goats, birds to penguins, this zoo has everything, including my new 12 foot friend, Polar Mahomes. But if I wanted to see a couple of animals that remind us of Texas basketball players, where would I look? Dylan right here, he's a, he's, a, he's a gazelle, man. He can run, fly, jump around. I am in utter disbelief. Dylan Mitchell, it's about the sweetest individual I've ever met, so we're gonna go with the panda on him. Hey, shout out Hutto, go hippo. I'm gonna say Jabari's like a monkey. Just monkeying around. I feel like monkeys can get annoying, and Bari can get annoying. He's always like nagging at you or talking about you. I would say Brock would be like an armadillo because he country. He's okay. definitely a giraffe. Low blow, but it's all good. <laughs> so just not a compliment? No, not at all. Now that doesn't sound like a compliment. Are, are giraffes uh, elegant, graceful? Graceful creatures. Mm. Graceful. Okay. I mean, okay. beautiful. Their heads stick above the canopy. Yeah. You know, they've got a great kind of flow to them. He's similar to that. <laughs> this next animal is the undisputed greatest of all time. I'm talking about goats. When fans think about the greatest post players of all time, they often think about seven foot towering figures. Well, Texas doesn't have a player over 6'10". They're a small team, but they don't play that way. Playing big just comes with pride. We don't have a big, but we all rebound. Even the guards come down to rebound. On this team, we have bigger guys that are strong, play above their size, and can move, and that's been a big part of our success, having bigs that aren't stiffs. Well, big or small, somebody's got to win this year's tournament. So as long as the Longhorns don't cool off like these penguins or take a dive, it could be the Longhorns year. Guys, somehow I escaped the zoo without going to the gift shop, which was really good for my wallet. I'm sure that Longhorn fans hope that their team will gift them a Sweet 16 win tonight. Now, Corey, before I toss it back to you, and I got to say before I toss it back, you're sounding smooth, you're looking sharp, but I need some information from you. Before starting that next story, tell me, what's your favorite zoo animal, man? Hmm, great question. I'm going to have to say seal. They're not my favorite animal, but if you go to the zoo and watch like a seal show, you understand why that's my answer. All right.